Yes, go and subscribe on the boy shop boss in town. You see if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure so you subscribe. You hear that? You see that video here? Yeah? I forgot to update and a reminder. The 7th of November, I when security I go out, they go strike. Place to be crossroad right in front of the bus park. This up we carry there. Almost in front of the post station. So may I ask you know, all of you know, turn up, show to the effort. We don't know how to mark up some local sitting pants, some local flyer. However, so we can get to point across because we are trying to form our own union and everything. So we ask everybody to come together as one, you no matter which security company you come from, any security company at all out there, when you come in, come join the more away, the better. And we are going to form our own union and everything. I go make you watch certain video and make you see where we have to go through. So you know say every day when you know, go out there is not a sure to say you know, make it back on the yard. So you now have to pray when you know, go out there morning time, pray at evening time and give God thanks so you make it back on your yard safe. So now I say, so I want to hold on and come out and I ask you know, give me a subscribe on the channel and you can share it too as well. I go make you know, watch and listen to certain voice notes. So I'm just go and do the thing and stay strong and stay as one. The body of 57-year-old Melford Brown, an armed security guard, was found in bushes just meters away from his home in Loudon Hill, St. Thomas, Wednesday. Brown had been reported missing since Monday. Why should have made a routine money drop-off at a remittance outlet in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth, Wednesday morning descended into chaos. The spent shells scattered across Main Street, Santa Cruz, tell part of the story of how armed men took on a three-man team of guardsmen security personnel. A security All three guard guards is dead and another injured after they responded to a robbery at the Public Sector Employees Cooperative Credit Union at the entrance of the Caribbean Estate in Portmore, St. Catherine. The brazen attack to the read a security guard was killed while at work along the four parts section of the Maypen to Williams Field leg of the new highway. The details surrounding his death. Crime scene tape drawn as the St. Mary police try to piece together the motive behind the killing of two security guards on Fort George Street early this morning. I don't know where he is. If he's dead, I'm alive. Just bring back my son to me. Her son, 21-year-old Javon Graham, has been missing since last Thursday. 